What we're going to talk about today is the secret of the poacher's knot, and we're going to create a poacher's snare. Okay, a poacher's noose is very simple to tie. All you're going to do is take a bite in the line, and you're going to wrap the tail around that bite up toward the bite, and you're going to go around it twice. The third time you come around, you're going to go back through the two loops that you created, just like this, and you're going to pull that down, and that becomes what's called a poacher's noose. And once you created this, you would think that this was the poacher's snare, but it's not. What this is, is the lock for the snare. You would actually bring your cordage back through that poacher's noose like this to create your snare. And you would draw this down in this fashion so that when force is put on this, what happens is this knot tightens up and locks down on this cordage so that you have a non-releasing snare. It also allows you to be able to hang that snare in more of a loop fashion instead of trying to hang a noose like this naturally in some kind of configuration on the trail. Now the true secret to this is not to draw this knot down tightly so that you have some free movement here. What that allows is when you put your other end through to create your snare, when an animal gets hung in this and it draws down, what's going to happen is it's going to draw down in two directions at the same time. It's going to draw down, number one, to reduce the size of the snare, but it's also going to reduce the diameter here, sucking it down into the knot and creating a locking device so that the harder he pulls, the tighter this gets and the tighter this gets at the same time, and it's not going to come undone on the animal. So looking at this on paracord, and I've tightened this snare around myself and loosened it off. So what's happened here, you can see is, your a diameter has been reduced in the size of the snare, but you've also reduced the diameter of this poacher's knot noose, which is clamped down against the paracord now, keeping it from moving as well. So you've created a lock device here, and it also will slide enough as the animal struggles that it can get tighter around his neck and at the same time get tighter on the lock. 